We're going to be installing the lift kit from Torch Off-Road on this here 2020 Tacoma. This right here is an SR5. It is stock, has nothing done to it yet, and we're about to put all this good stuff inside. Stay tuned. All right, go ahead and place the vehicle in park. We have set the e-brake. If you got some wheel chocks, shove those under there. We die like men around here, and we just set the e-brake and go for it. Next, you want to go ahead and get your jack, a couple of jack stands. Go ahead and lift up the front of the truck. Support it properly. Really support it properly. This part's way more important than wheel chocks, or you will die. Nice spot right there you can jack it up on. Right in the center, if you don't have a skid plate. It supports the vehicle very nice. All right, now that we have the vehicle supported and off the ground, we're gonna go ahead and take the wheels and tires off. All right, now that we have the wheels off of the truck, we're gonna go ahead and remove the sway bar. You're gonna need to disconnect the link right there by taking off the nut on the backside and also take the two nuts off holding on the bracket right there. Let's go. That right there is the bolt that you're gonna to wanna to take off. Then we'll get those other two, but first we do also need to drop the skid plate on here so that we can actually remove the sway bar once we disconnect it. All right, so we made our job a little easier by taking the skid plate off, moving the two brackets right there, and then just completely taking the sway bar out of the way. This will make things nice and smooth. Now, there's a couple different ways to skin this cat, and I'm gonna show you the way I like to do it. What we're gonna do is take off the bolt from the steering link right there, tie rod in, and then we're gonna take off the two nuts that are on the bottom from the lower control arm to the spindle. That's the way that I do it. That's the way I've been doing it for a while and that's the way I'm gonna to continue to do it. So hang tight, watch this. All right, now we have our tie rod end off and you can see here that our bolt is disconnected on the lower so we can just move that out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the strut assemblies. So I like to take a nice long leveraging device, shove it down in the lower control arm, kind of brace it against the differential, and then when you push down you get to work the lower control arm. That makes it so that you can easily get the bolt out of there just by wiggling it around. You pull it on out. And then you can work that lower control arm a lot easier. Leave the top bolts up there until you do this so that the shock doesn't just try to fall out when you're trying to work it out. That's the tip for the day. Now well, that we got the strut out of the truck, we can go ahead and put the spacers on. Now you're going to reuse the existing Toyota hardware to put that onto your strut and then use the supplied bolts to put the strut back into the truck. All right, let's do it. All right, now that we have the coil spacer on the coilover, we're going to go ahead and put it back in with the supplied hardware. All right, now that we got the spacer installed, put the hardware in, we still need to tighten them up, but we got everything put back the way it's supposed to be using the supplied hardware on top, factory hardware on the bottom, factory hardware holding the coil over to the coil spacer. Now we can move on to the next step, tightening this hardware up. We'll put our tie rod lens links back together, and then we'll put the two bolts back into the lower control arm to the spindle. We make this a lot easier by putting a jack under the lower control arm and just giving it a couple pumps just so we don't have to fight so hard pushing down on the upper control arm to get the two bolts back in. Now that we've got everything installed for the coil over, we're going to go ahead and put the sway bar drop downs right over there. And that's going to be these guys right here. And go ahead and use the factory hardware to mount it back to the frame and then you're going to use the supplied hardware to mount the sway bar back to these brackets. All right, now that we got the differential spacers in, we can go ahead and put our crossbars back on, and throw the skid plate back on. You can see right there, the diff spacers get put on each side using the hardware that comes with the torch off road kit. And you put the factory washer back on the bottom. It should look just like this. Okay, next step. Now that we got the skid plate back on, we got the coil spacers in, we got the sway bar drop packets, and the differential drop in. That concludes the front end of the lift kit. Now let's put the wheels back on and we'll get over to the rear end. Now is a good time to take a step back and admire what your truck would look like 
if you wore your hat backwards and it was two-wheel drive. All right, let's lift the rear. All right, now we're gonna work on the Adelief set. So we got the truck jacked up in the air. We're gonna put a couple of jack stands right there at the end of the slider before the frame curves up. Get the truck up real high so that when you let the jack back down, the suspension doesn't just let the tires back onto the ground. Um, and then moving on. All right, now that the truck is supported and up in the air, we have the tires off. We're gonna support the rear end with a jack. Now we're going to go ahead and take the U-bolts off of the leaf springs and then we can dissect our packs and add the leaf. Alright, once you've taken the U-bolts out, you're going to also want to take out the couple of bolts holding your e-brake cable and I like to take out the few bolts that are holding the brake lines. That way you get a little bit more drop out of the rear end. Uh, also remove the lower bolt on the shock so that once again you get the drop out of the uh, rear end. We're going to take a couple C-clamps now and clamp the leaf springs so that we can undo the bolt in the middle and then swap out the springs. You clamp the leaf spring like that and you take the bolt out. Then you can let pressure off the leaf spring slowly. And you're going to do the reverse thing and putting it back together. In reassembly, this is what you should be having here. Now we're going to use the C-clamp to squish it back together, having the bolt already in there to keep it all aligned and straight and then tighten it together after your C-clamp has put it there. Otherwise you risk stretching the bolt, snapping the bolt, and all kinds of bad things happen. So, moving on. Now that we got it all bolted back together, we're gonna go ahead and cut off the rest of that bolt and leave it just a little bit longer than the nut so that, you know, it's not hurting the nut or the structural integrity of that. And then we get to put it back together. All right. Once we got our bump stop and the new U-bolts back in, we're going to go ahead and jack it up just a little bit, put the shock back in there, and we are all set. This is going to look great. And there we go. That is the Torch Off-Road 3-inch lift kit installed on a 2020 Tacoma. She is sitting nice. Really good stance. Definitely lifted. Now it is off to the alignment shop and we'll make sure she still drives straight. Thanks for watching guys.